So I'm planting some asparagus because there's a nice volunteer plant up at the corner, half a mile from here, that way. And so nice to have asparagus that I decided I'd plant some out here. So there's a couple of holes on that side. Here's the poppy area. And there's actually some growing right in the center there. That's a big clump of them. And uh, I'm assuming that they will grow. A couple holes on this side for asparagus. I'm going to mix um, seeds. Every other hole is going to be seeds from the volunteer plant, which I know will grow and which I know have been um, cold stratified outdoors over the winter. And every other will be the ones I bought on the internet for two bucks. 15 Mary Washington seeds. I'm going to make uh, multiple rows because I noticed where they grow is kind of a depression. So I'm going to put some up here on the edge and then I'll put rows down. This, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm like a foot and a half lower than where those holes are now. And this actually floods in the spring. It's actually slightly flooded now. See, got some muck here. I don't know exactly how much flooding they like, but I guess there's a good way to find out and that's planted at lots of different spots. And the ones that don't grow, I'll put some other shit there later. Because, I mean, it was two bucks for a pack. And the volunteer ones I got tons of at the corner for free. And I like this rack, found it. I think it was on the other side of the street. So, some kind of black granite, and uh, I'm pretty sure that white stuff is quartzite. Although it looks, it's got pink in it. Maybe that's rhyolitic. I don't know. The red one's probably rhyolitic, and the black one is definitely basaltic. Anyway, whatever. I'm gonna use them for shit like that probably over the period of time that I live here. And then when I move out, I will stop. <laughs> but uh, this has been a huge puddle for years and I will probably fill in with rocks. And yeah, that's about it for tonight. There's a cute little daffodil. I just grabbed some bags on sale at one point. And they're all different kinds. And little multi bloom ones later. And there's some lilies next to the mailbox, which are still surviving. But decided most of what I plant from now on is going to be either edible or native. <laughs>